Okay, today I'll be showing you how to spot the two suns and the two moons in the sky. How to spot the, the two suns and the two moons in the sky. So, all you got to do is watch exactly what we, is right there. See, uh, all you got to do is watch exactly what we do to spot them. And then you'll understand how to spot them and you'll keep spotting them every time. Uh, one of the things is, is like a sign a, a, a God and, and the sign is uh, it's at the rise and the fall a sunset and it's hiding behind the light is at the rise and the fall it's a sign of God of sunset the rise and the fall you know and it's behind the light okay so there it is right there so the thing to look for is how close it is to the sun. Now what you're going to need is either some welding goggles so you can look close to the sun. See how close it is to the sun? Right there, how close it is to the sun. And, and that's what you need to be looking for, that close to the sun. Usually it's so bright that most people turn away. So some people look through CDs. You know, I started off looking through a CD, and I could see it. See, it's right there. Look how close it is to the sun. So it ain't going to be somewhere far off to the east or somewhere. It's going to be right there next to the sun. And that's how you spot the uh, Nairobu. And I like, again, look for it at the rise and the fall of sunset. Now we're going to show you how to spot the moon and um, pretty much the same way. Now, I can only speak from my personal experience right here. My personal experience is I spot this usually around 2 o'clock uh, California time. 2 o'clock. And, and look how close it is to the moon. So it's not going to be some far off uh, space somewhere. You're looking around the whole sky. It's right next to the moon. And uh, it's, it's circling the moon. So it, it, it starts off usually right there at the uh, right uh, top hand, I mean closest to the right at, at, the, at the side of the moon, right at the closest to the top. And then it's going to circle around the moon and go like, like clockwise around the moon and then disappear. So it's the same as the sun. Uh, the closest to the morning, the rise of, uh, of the sun or right when it's like three hours before it rise is when you spot this so that's when I spotted it so I can only speak for myself like I said um, I don't know where you live at but um, if, if you want to have the best chances at spotting these with your own eyes you know and it, it, it's exciting to spot them with your own eyes but I guess it when um, uh, you know they get closer or as they get closer it's gonna be horrifying because it's going to be a reality there that no one is really prepared to deal with, you know. So all I can say is, um, here's your advice. Look closest to the planet at the rise and the fall of sunset. And that's how you spot these. Raptor News, people. Tell me what y'all think.